break. I mean, it's not normal for Hypocrisy to record an album every year, or ever, at least every second year. Okay. So after four years, of course, like, almost shaking. I mean, we have to <laughs> do something and come back, you know, and it feels great to be back again. You know, it's, it feels very good. From the very first beginning, I mean, we, we maybe, I don't know, it was more just two or three albums. I mean, we were rehearsing very much before an album, you know. Now we are more like everybody in the band are sitting home, each of us, you know, and, and, and trying to come up with new stuff. And, and then we meet up in the studio and we, we arrange the songs together. Uh, no, actually, it was, it was pretty good, you know, we, I mean, we did a tour with Fear Factory 2006. Then after that, we said, like, yeah, we, we start to write songs for the new album, you know, and then, mm -hmm. but we didn't set up any, any, any schedule or something like that, you know, when we're going to enter the studio. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was pretty relaxed, you know, we could, I mean, sometimes, I mean, for me, personally, I was working maybe two weeks, and then I had two weeks off, you know, and I had other things to do, you know, my private life and mm -hmm. things like that, you know, so it was, it was very relaxed. Uh, on this album, me and Peter wrote all the music. Uh, uh, Peter, I mean, when I came to the studio with my material, we, we, Peter already had like eight, nine songs finished. Uh, and then... Uh, I came to the studio and then uh, me, me and him was working on my material, like to arrange uh, my, what I have done. Mm -hmm. Arranged my, my material together, me and Peter, and then we put it together and in the end it came out four songs of that. So that's the way we, we work on this album. I don't know, I mean, in what way do you think? You, you mean musically? Uh, or, I don't know. It, is it change hypocrisy? I don't know. It's hard to say if it affects hypocrisy. Uh, I don't think so. I mean, we we have to we have to sing the way that sounds best, you know, for, for each song. Mm -hmm. And uh, if it has clean or or, or growl vocals, it, I don't know. It depends on the song, you know. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, like you said, I mean, on this album, I mean, I think we, I mean, we used to have many melodies and uh, harmonies on, on the albums we have done so far. Mm -hmm. I mean, on this album, I think we have it's been extra, extra much, you know, melodies and harmonies. But uh, it's hard to say, I mean, when it comes to songwriting, I mean, it's, it's not like we sit, when I sit down, I mean, it's not like I, I, I think before, oh, this has to be a brutal song, you know, I, I, I try to create a riff and then um, and then it's first in the end you, you, you see how, what kind of drum beat or if it's going to be fast or, or, or slow you know mm -hmm. very much it is okay it depends of your mouth yeah it is I mean <laughs> I don't know it's, if it's like that but I mean it's, it's hard to say I mean it's as long as the riff is good you know and then mm -hmm. but if it's fast or, or slow I mean it doesn't matter it's Oh yeah, Horg, Horg is still in the band. He he did a drum. Okay, okay. And will he go on tour with you? Oh yeah, he will yeah? do that. Yeah, because because of the comeback of uh, Immortal, there is no yeah. problem of time. So no, I mean we have two two tours confirmed right now, and and uh, that doesn't affect us anything, you know. Okay. He's gonna play. He, he's gonna play the drums on, on those two tours. So, I mean. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I think it's not gonna be any problems. Okay, cool. And do we do we have a chance to see dates with both bands, Hypocrisy and Immortal? On the same tour? You mean? Yeah. <laughs> that can be great for us. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you have to ha ask Korg if he, if he would like to play two, two shows. Two shows, it will be very hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he would make it. I mean, he's, he's very professional. Yeah, yeah. And he's a very, very, very good, good drummer. drummer. Yeah, yeah. That would not be no problem for him, but... I don't know, it would be a pretty weird, you know, to have 
<laughs> okay. I mean, drummer in two bands on, on a tour, you know. Uh, yeah, know. it could be hard. But maybe on festivals? Uh, yeah. So maybe it's going to happen if we play on the same festival, mm -hmm. I mean. But it's not the same like a tour, you know. Yeah, yeah. We already had the shows and the songs for the album. You, you know, we had more extra, more extra songs, you know, for this album, and then we had to sit down and choose the songs, eleven songs for this album. So, and then go in and choose again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, of course, I think "Well of the Dam" is a good opener. I think, and uh, "Hang Him High," uh, "Without the Week," you know, "The Quest" is mm. very. It's a typical hypocrisy song, you know, mm -hmm. a very slow song. Mm -hmm. You always used to have it on each album, almost. <laughs> it's important for you? No, no, no. I mean, it's. <laughs> it's I think it's. Uh, many harmonies and stuff like that, you know, it sounds really hypocrisy, I think. No, it's, it's a good question. <laughs> it's, uh, but. I don't think so. I mean, we we play the more or less the same all all over. I mean, like if, well, if we do a, a European tour, I mean, of course, then we play more or less the same. Mm -hmm. Because all over Europe, yeah. Okay. Because fans from countries to countries are have different uh, attitude du during a show. Some maybe some like more uh, speed stuffs, and other yeah. public uh, fans prefer more heavy or. No, for for Apple Crazy, the fans loves all in all countries. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, there's different kind of. I mean, in different country, it's some countries they like more aggressive music, more fast, and like you said, mm -hmm. that's true. But I mean, it it doesn't affect that much. I mean, we have to. We are there to represent hypocrisy, and yeah. and uh, we play it the way we we want it, and then. I mean that's that's. The way we have to do, I mean, we can't just look at where we are and then play songs for... Okay. It would be different if it was at another festival, you know, if if it was... I don't know, if it was a more alternative, uh, like, festival, then maybe we could, I don't know, play some more mid-tempo songs or whatever. You know? But mm -hmm. it's nothing we think about that much. Yeah. We play the way we, we sound, you know, and the way we want it, the songs we want to play, you know, and then... And whatever. People <laughs> like it or, or not, you know, it's, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, of course, a mix of everything, like you said, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the things you mentioned, you know. <laughs> if we had all of it, it would be the best. <laughs> <laughs> but all together is very hard. <laughs> yeah, all together, if, if, that, that would be an ultimate... Uh, Concert, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it, it, it'd be great to try. <laughs> sometimes pit, sometimes hands in the air. Or <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be the ultimate. Yeah. Okay. Let's try to do it on the next show. I will go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you too. Check out the new album. I hope to see see you on tour. Have a nice evening and take care. <laughs>